Yes, and Chippy, have a seat. Relax. Now, tell us. Uh, Everybody, wow. over here. Don't we sit here? He wants to sit here. One no, time, no, no, I'll probably no. Don't fight. Don't sit fight. It's, it's his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> See if we can look. Yeah, you did really good, Jim. Thank you. Yeah, Andrew. you know, this whole thing is really nice. Look at all the young girls. Pretty. Everybody's nice. You show all the videos. Pictures of all these young girls. Who knows where they are, how old they are right now. None of me. Yeah. And and when I have my 70th birthday, it'll be in a basement in Brooklyn with 90-year-olds. If you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky. Did you get to meet Penn and Teller and D.L. are here? I was watching them back. You were great. Oh, thank you. Sir. Great. And what did you think of D.L.? He's very handsome. Very good. All right. So, Aunt Chippy, you and Uncle Frank, actually, together, you can tell us the story of how you met. What happened? Because it's an interesting story. Pick me up off the street. <laughs> Is that true, Uncle Frank? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like my family. Yeah. <laughs> so what happened? Yeah, well, you were. I, I, we worked in the same neighborhood, and uh, and he um, he saw me coming out of a grocery store, and um, he tried to pick me up, and I told him to get lost. I told him I was engaged. He was a policeman. On, was yeah. he on the job at the yeah, time? Yeah, he, he was on the job and not doing what the job was telling him he's supposed to be doing. Right. You know. Uh huh. Uh, but excuse me, Jimmy. Can you, uh, excuse me, but my relatives sent you a birthday card. They haven't sent me a birthday card in years, but you, they got a birthday There's card. There's a tremendous card. amount of hostility yeah. coming from you, Aunt Jimmy. I so. didn't get a birthday card from them. They're from New Hampshire, Boston, and they sent him a birthday card. Well, that's card nice. That's house. nice. And how did you how did you do it, Uncle Frank? What was your strategy to get Aunt Chippy in the sack? Actually, she didn't go out with me for about... Oh, that's interesting. For about two months. <laughs> I I was a cop in uniform. Mm -hmm. I threw uniform. I threw uniform. I threw... Snowballs at the guy. I jumped in the car. Asked her to kiss me. For she said I came on too fast. Finally, friends of mine. He's well, the before. first date, he says to me, "Gee, too bad we would have made pretty babies." Yeah. Well, look what happened. Scary. Right, right. <laughs> Finally, my daughters? friends came up with an idea. Let's plan it where you bring some friends and she'll bring some friends, and we'll get together. Well, that we we planned that, but my friends didn't show up. I don't know if it was our per husband. We went out. We went dancing. We were down the dance floor. We kissed. <laughs> We went out for nine months every day after that. We got engaged three months later. We got married nine months after. Right. We had three. Day. Tell them about the children. What I wrote in the book. Yes. Wrote. Well, he's supposed to. He's supposed to be writing in his police book the activity of the day, police work, you know. And, yes. Uh, Unfortunately, Frank was always different from everybody, so we were having lunch, and he, he wrote in there. And this is to our beautiful children. Your mother and I are now having lunch. I don't know they were going to be as pretty as they are, but they really are pretty. So nice. then you guys got married. You had beautiful Yes, we got girls, married first, and then And then you wound up getting divorced. Yeah. Yes. It's a terrific story. It was a nice really circle. Was 20, 20, it was a nice 20, circle. It was, we did everything. No, 27 we got engaged, years. we got married, we had the kids, and we got divorced. We Ultimately, Uncle Frank drove you crazy, right? Isn't that what happened? Absolutely. <laughs> and what, what, what was most upsetting about Uncle Frank to you, Aunt Chippy? He, he, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> the man is nuts. <laughs> He's just, he's just crazy. He's a, he's a crazy person. He does. Look at all this nice stuff he does. Yeah, but here. no, no, but like, like for instance, I remember like before you were finished eating dinner, he'd come clean off no, your plate. No, he, he, I would, I would make dinner, and everybody oh, would please, be sitting at the table. Oh, never made dinner. I did, I did hot you dogs. You never made did, dinner. What I are did. you talking about? Jimmy, I only. She made dinner at Uncle Frank's party. Seven people came down with food poisoning this weekend. <laughs> I think two of them are dead. Seven people. My mother went to the hospital. Yeah, I swear that's to true. God, it's swear absolutely. Swear to God, true story. My all poor right. sister. All right, we're gonna, we gotta take a break here. I want you to think of all the things that made you angry over the years, and then spew them when we come back, okay? <laughs> and Chippy, Uncle Frank, Penn and Teller, Deal Hughley, right back with a little more from Uncle Frank's 70th birthday, everybody. <laughs> Gifford sent you a very nice present. He sent you his book and he signed it. He put a little wow. description in there. A favorite one, football player of all time. One of time. my favorites of all time. Man of courage. There you go. Uh, my Uncle Frank, fortunately for this television show, uh, creates bloopers the way plants create oxygen. He really, um, if there's a celebrity, um, he doesn't know what the celebrity's name is. Do you know the name of our co-host this week? Yeah. What's you. DB, you. You. Now I'm a Chinese dude. I wish. <laughs> What is his name? Jesus. No, no, don't. It doesn't. If you look on the paper, it doesn't make a difference. And what about the, the magicians? I, I love you. What about the magicians? What are their names? Penn and Teller. Right. 
And you remember, you remember your ex-wife's name? Yeah, Conchetta. All right. All right. Here we go from his brief television career, a small collection of Uncle Frank's malaprop moments. D.D.U. I have to announce the names of the stars and the names of the movies. I would try my hardest. Bear with me if I make a mistake or two. What's your name? What's your name? Because I'm a little stupid. And your name? Brittany Snow. Oh, Brittany, you're very pretty. We know you were in the great show 24. Mm -hmm. You're a great actor, but I remember you're a great ball player. That's more important to me. This is, was a great ball. It looks like you could still play. You're a child star. You're still a star. And you're going to be a bigger star. And you're going to be governor. But you got to give advice to kids to help them. You turn out, <laughs> you turn out good. Why? You turn out good. I'm not ready for governor. David, David, I was looking at the wrong one. I was looking at the wrong guy. Do you know who I am? You do, yeah, right? Yeah. Jimmy just said, yeah, I'll talk to anybody on the car. But yeah. Just say who I am, and then I'll know that you're not I'll just blowing you you sunshine on my skirt. Tell, tell him my full name. name. I, want, I want you to say who I am. I want you to tell them. John Favreau. That's John Favreau. right. That's it. Now it rings a bell. Uh, Jeff, you're doing good. How's Jeff, your life going? Jeff, the white guy down here. Yeah, the bridges. Yeah, they can't know everybody's name. <laughs> All right, there you are. We'll be right back with his tenth of ten wishes of things to do before he's 70. We'll be right back. Up the mic. Frank's 70th birthday, the 10th and final wish of Uncle Frank's is about to come true. He's always wanted to sing in front of a live audience. Why in 70 years he's never done that, you're about to find out. Now performing the classic song, My Way, My Uncle Frank, everybody. Forgive me, Mr. Sinatra. Forgive me, Mr. Anchor. And now the end is here. And so I face the final curtain, my friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain, I live a life that's full, I travel each and every highway, and more, much more than this, I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do, and saw it through without exception. I planned each time course, each careful step along the byway. And more, much more than this, I did it my You can see him at the Rio in Las Vegas. You can't beat that for entertainment, I'll tell you that. It's a great show. Always great. D.L. Hughley, he's uh, got this uh, DVD right there. It's called uh, D.L. Hughley Live, right? And also hosting VH1 Big in 03. That's 2003, Sunday, November 30th, 9 o'clock on VH1. Uh, my Aunt Chippy, thank you so much for coming out. My cousins, Aunt Sally and Mickey, the product of their love. Tomorrow, Flea is here. Alan Rickman is here. Toby Keith is here. D.L. will be back. Uncle Frank, happy birthday, thank 70th you. birthday. Here we go. We got a cake for you. That was... <laughs>
That was the worst singing I've ever heard, but I have to say, it's great having you on the show, Uncle Frank. And now, here we go. I can wait. I did.